Welcome to FEMAP Tips and Tricks. Sometimes, in the absence of any underlying geometry, finite element selection, for whatever reason, can become challenging. FEMAP includes many capabilities that can aid element selection, and in this example we'll see how to select a group of elements that have adjacent faces. Consider this simple finite element model of a piston, and suppose that there is no underlying geometry available. We wish to create a group containing all of the elements of the top face, and we'll use FEMAP's adjacent face picking capability to select all of the relevant elements. In the Element Entity Selection dialog, click on the Pick button and select By Faces, and a second Entity Selection dialog appears. Here you need to select the general group of elements that includes the subset of elements you eventually want to end up with. In this case we can select all and click OK. Then in the subsequent Face Selection dialog, click Adjacent Faces and pick one of the desired element faces and click OK. Now we're back in the first Entity Selection dialog, and here we can highlight what we've selected. You can see that not all of the top surface elements have been captured. So let's go through the process again and get back to the Face Select dialog, where you can see there is an angle tolerance that controls what FEMAP considers to be the adjacent element plane from element to element. The default is 20 degrees. So if you want FEMAP to include elements around less acute angles in the model, then we need to increase this tolerance. Now we have all the elements that make up the top face of the piston model, which we can put into a group. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash femap, or call your local channel partner.